Okay, here we're going to look at um, the, the formula for kinetic energy. Remember, kinetic energy means the energy that an object possesses because it's in motion or moving energy. Um, and we're going to use the work formula to derive an equation for an unknown mass and an unknown velocity. We're going to assume we start from no energy and we're going to go up to uh, some amount of moving energy and we're going to see um, we're going to see what the formula is for the amount of energy the amount of work that's being put in to an object that's moving so remember here work equals force times displacement now we know from Newton that force is equal to mass times acceleration so if I solve, well actually sorry, it's already solved for force. So if I substitute that equation into here, then I can say that work is equal to mass times acceleration times d. Now leaving the mass out front, a d, this is similar to one of the five equations of motion that we were using way back in the first unit. Specifically, 2 a d is equal to v2 squared minus v1 squared. Now let's recall that we want to start with an object that starts at rest. We want to say it has no energy in the first place, so then when we get it up to this speed, we have an idea of how much energy it has now. And we want it to go up to a speed of v. So I'm going to change this equation by substituting there, and v2 is just v, that's the speed we want it to go up to, in minus zero, which effectively I can just ignore. Now one more little thing here. I'm going to bring the 2 over 1 half v squared, and that's equal to ad. So I just divide both sides by 2 to do that. Now this matches this part of the equation, so I can substitute mass times 1 half v squared, and then I can move my mass in, or I'm just rearrange it. I'm not even doing, there's really no math there, I just put the, ma the mass later and we get the normal formula for kinetic energy. So if I did this much work, and I had all of that work realized in the acceleration of the object, or the speed of the object, or its velocity, then work leads to this much. Now, work is our change in energy, but since I put all of my energy into this form that I want to call kinetic, this is my formula for kinetic energy. Ek equals one-half times the mass times the velocity squared.